Georgina Robinson and Tom Deeson last updated 324 the 29th of June 2018 SITTHIXAYDITTHAVONG is real full out contests a high ball and was yellow carded for grabbing and putting the Ireland player Peter Romani in a dangerous position. Cameron Spencer, Getty Images Wallabies fullback Israel Folau looks disgruntled as he heads to the sideline after being sin binned for a dangerous aerial challenge. Rugby Waratahs fullback Israel Folau will miss Friday's clash with the Melbourne Rebels after his one-game ban was upheld by a World Rugby Appeals Committee. After a three-hour judiciary hearing on Thursday evening, Folau and Rugby Australia were ultimately unsuccessful in their appeal, meaning the 29-year-old won't be available for selection until next Saturday's match against the Sun Wolves in Sydney. The Waratahs have been contacted for comment. Folau dialed in via a teleconference from the team's hotel in Melbourne to provide evidence over an aerial challenge which resulted in Ireland captain Peter O'Mahony being tipped above the horizontal. Redmore, asterisk Folau to appeal one match Super Rugby ban asterisk Israel Folau outcome could be a game changer asterisk Wallabies fullback Folau faces disciplinary hearing Folau and Rugby Australia appeal the one match suspension that was handed down on Wednesday. The incident occurred during the first half of the Wallabies' 20-16 loss to Ireland in the third test in Sydney. Folau fronted an appeals committee chaired by Anthony Davies, England, alongside Beth Dickens, Scotland, and Ollie Cohn, Wales. Meanwhile, at least one part of Folau's role in the game is not stalled by bureaucracy. Real confirmed it had resumed informal contract discussions with the three-time John Eales medalist for the first time since Folau plunged the sport into turmoil with an anti-gay comment on social media. The saga prompted Rot to put on ice their negotiations to re-sign Folau and Wallabies coach Michael Chaka made it a no-go zone for the entire June series against Ireland in an effort to shut down any distractions for the fullback and wider Wallabies team. In some good news for the Waratahs, who are keen on locking in Folau for a further three years, Rob boss Raleen Castle has been seen in conversation with Folau's manager Isaac Moses, and Castle confirmed, dialogue is ongoing, between the parties. Formal negotiations have taken place but the June break has evidently eased some of the tension. Returning to the Folau issue, back rower Ned Hannigan may not be an expert under the high ball, or even a back, but he weighed into what the case could mean for the game. Hannigan, speaking in Sydney on Thursday morning before the team flew out to Melbourne, was asked whether there might be trepidation on Folau's part now when it comes to challenging for a ball in the air. Add feedback, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure, Hannigan said. He's a guy on the world stage who is the best in the air. Whatever he's doing in the air, it's working for him. The issue at hand is he is genuinely going for the ball and it's the actions that he does when he is coming back to the ground. The referees and adjudicators, they'll finalize it and I honestly reckon it'll be a bit of a milestone or precedent to what will come in the future with these types of issues, Hannigan said some responsibility had to be put on the player lifting a teammate to ensure they hold on to them. In terms of safety, you've just got to really back the bloke that he doesn't let you go, Hannigan said. Sydney Morning Herald